Jordan. So I have Adam's GC. Uh, he asked me to bring it to Sam's Forum, so I've been driving around today. And the first thing I have to say is driving around on Japanese roads, this is the first place in the entire world I've ever driven where you could put your blinker on and people get out of the way and let you merge. It's wild. <laughs> it makes driving way less stressful. Today we are running around just kind of doing some sightseeing some more. In the last video, we kind of literally just did tour stuff in the sense of like, we went to like the shopping district and just kind of looked around and it was really nice to relax. But today I want to do some car things and have some fun. So we are going off to Moon Eyes Cafe to go get lunch. And then we're gonna go visit Samit's, see his shop, see his toys, and maybe some other shops in the area. And then if we're lucky, we get to head off to Daikaku tonight and uh, go to the world, probably the world's most famous car meat spot ever. So we'll see what today brings. But in the meantime, I'm driving a GC STI around Tokyo, so. If you guys don't know Moon Eyes is, Moon Eyes I, it originally started off as kind of like an old American, like hot rod type of brand. Uh, that's probably the simplest way to put yeah, it. Yeah, they used to make like, you know, fuel tanks and hot rod parts in the 40s and probably 50s, 60s. And then at some point, a Japanese guy was like, I really like this company. Let's make it cool. Let's make it cool yeah. in Japan. So uh, now it's kind of like this weird mix of like American and JDM styling mixed together. And it's really, really gangster. And I couldn't even explain to you why. I, I don't know why. Do you know what is cool though? A dually Tacoma. What? Because <laughs> I wasn't even noticing that was a Tacoma. You would think that was like a so 3500. Like 3500, but it's just tiny. No way. Even better, they have it in yellow. completely made such a successful company by literally doing nothing but making themselves just look cool. It's the name of the game, baby. <laughs> I guess that's really it awesome. really is, dude. <laughs> like like the the Your the, shit's cool. Everybody's gonna want it. The the pure aesthetic of the company is just so awesome. Just like anything any product that has it on it is just it's dope. Like I, I know that sounds super corny, but I know No it's not though. What's the name of the company that does all the like they sell bricks with their name? It's like a Supreme. Okay. Yeah. This is the car guy version of Supreme. That's the, that's the best way I could put it. Fucking garbage cans that I might buy one. I know. I'm sitting there like I want this. I want this for some trash can. Real quick, Harbor Freight cans, Home Depot cans. Okay. What? They sell that shit. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> but look at this. Why do I want this book? It's so bad. You want it? I want it. Is too. this what it feels like to be a hype beast? Yes. But car guy hype beast. Get that for the FD. <laughs> for the FD. Get that for the FD. <laughs> Big old well, heavy. You know what they call that, Jim? Heavy pedal. <laughs> Crispy too. All right, there it is. Bought a couple trinkets for the boys. Good spot for it. And a sick bag it came with too. Yeah, just have to overpay for a bunch of things and they give you a free bag. <laughs> I could be rolling there for like an hour. There is so much stuff, but for now, let's get some lunch and uh, head off to the next destination. All right, we're about to leave and oh, it's so funny because there's just a R34 sedan just chilling outside. It looks so out of place. So out of place. <laughs> Looks like an import car. Like right? Crazy. There's some things going on with this. Mm. Hopefully we make it to Daikaku, we could uh, see some heavy hitters. Heavy hitters, baby. Still can't get over this thing. This thing went from Taco to Crunchwrap Supreme. You know what I mean? Shut up, Jim. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> So we are now in Yokohama, uh, which is home of Samet HQ. So Samet just recently built a beautiful shop down here and I'm really, really excited to see it. You guys don't know who Samet is. Uh, Samet is one of our close friends. He is a YouTuber out here in Japan. He is from Australia. He is something else, <laughs> but he's a great guy. He makes great content. And if you guys don't know who he is, please check out his channel. I'll put the link in the description. He has been amazing to us. He has done so much for us since we've been here and uh, I can't thank him enough, but Let's go see the cool cars that he has stashed down there. Oh, where can I park? Oh, we made it, I think. I thought we were so lost. 
No, this is how we know we're at Sammet's because there's a gearbox on a stand. <laughs> what? I mean, it's the most true thing you've ever said. What is this? They're like, give him the strongest transmission we have because he's gonna blow it up anyway. Yeah, yeah. No, I was saying uh, Sammet has single-handedly uh, created a shortage of R154s. <laughs> wow. This place is beautiful. Hey, E. Oh, I this is this is a huge shop for Japan, this isn't is it? Yeah. This is massive. Yeah, for Japan standards, like one something this clean, and two not green floors. <laughs> Why green floors? Like green the floors are like the thing here. Yeah. I see a green engine bay, so this is something else. This was a cool car. This is the extra team that you kind of just found in the woods, right? Yeah, we found it in pretty much the jungle in Okinawa, and we've been working on restoring it. All. Such a cool car, dude. Well, you've been like properly restoring this thing, huh? Yeah. It'll be a street, like yeah. street driftable car. Cool. Something that I can have a bit of fun with. Street yeah. driftable car. Yeah. You know, registered, rock up, <laughs> events drive, go home, that kind of thing. We always know how that ends. So we're going to have a dog box and a quick change in it next month. Funny you should Or say 13 that. on 154s. <laughs> 13. <laughs> <laughs> the number just keeps going up. So this is your, so this was like your old grassroots car, right? It's a Yashio factory yeah. S15 this drift is, car. This is what got me into air chassis. Like really? Great. I used to be a R chassis like Skyline guy. That was the car I started off on. The 33.4. Rudnick has drifted that car, yes, hasn't he? Yes, he has. He That's has. actually really It funny. didn't actually break when he drove it too, so. Impressive. So how did you end up actually getting into a Yashio factory car? Um, Okachan kind of just took me under his wing, became my mentor, and just started teaching me everything. Which is wild. This is insane. It's insane. Such an incredible opportunity. A bunch of uh, good results in this. My first ever comp, I got first place, and then oh, nice. he was like, all right, I want to put you in an S chassis. And he was like, I've got one in storage that's been sitting for 10 years. No way. And the thing had 30,000 kilometers on it. <laughs> it used to be an old Gakudori champion car. No way. The previous owner um, is a very famous doctor in the hospital down the road, like surgeon. That's so funny. So yeah, he was like, hey, I accomplished my dream, which was Gakudori, which is university, like grass ripping, drifting competition, mm -hmm. kind of equivalent of like D1 lights, but just for university students. Uh, a drifting competition just for people in college. So what's even funny is it was so famous, people like Daiki, true story, would sign up to college just so they could compete in that and never show up to class. <laughs> Isn't that insane? That is wild. Isn't that wild? That is the funniest like, that's thing. That's how ever big heard. it was, and that's what he did. And a yeah, lot of because dri drifting was so massive around exactly, here. Like, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Because drifting here is like our NASCAR almost. Yeah. Wow. This has every little Yasho factory bit on it. Which Pretty is, much. Yeah. yeah. Does it hurt you to drift it? Because this is something I'd want to just like put in a corner and just put like a cover over. It, you know what I mean? For sure. Like I mean, the engine bay I definitely went a little over the top in, and I regret that now. Like I feel like I definitely crossed the line of like overbuilt. Just because like I don't want to do anything with it. And that's why like I've kind of had it sitting here. I had all the dents and stuff fixed on it and mm -hmm. it's got to go to the shop and get finally. So this, like, this is going to be more of like your hero car now at this This point. will be more of the hero car. Because you have your FD car, which yeah. is like a evolved version of this. Exactly, cool. yeah. I would do bad things to that valve cover, dude. All I'm, that's all I'm saying. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is one of Okachan's pieces. Then. Yeah. It, it's, right. a, it's, 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 wow. Yeah. Fuck. It's so good. That dude. is so good. The one dude. thing that like in my videos, everyone gets this confused. They always like, Sam, you're missing the, the, the oil cap. It's not there. You stop driving, you know. But it's just because like the black sticker. Oh, yeah. There. So it from a distance, in. it looks like there's no no cap there, and the pink blends in. But it's like something you'd watch on initial D, but like live it. Real live life. it in real life. So I've always said I need every single color S chassis. Hmm. Pink was a production one, but man, do I want one. <laughs> <laughs> this is an R33 with an R34 front. But same it. How did you get the headlights to just... So I never did this. this common, I bought it from the auctions like this. Really? Which is another insane story. We just ended up... I initially wanted to bid on this car. It went for over what I wanted mm -hmm. and what my budget was. So I ended up buying a, a Zenki R33 white one. What the... Turned out that the kid who sold it didn't have the paperwork. Okay. So then the auctions were like, how much compensation do you want for this whole screw around? Because I'd already had the car fixed, yeah, the brake yeah, suspension, yeah. And all that stuff for like a month. They gave me a whole bunch of money back, and then I was like, all right, time to bid on another car again after giving that away, mm -hmm. that back to them. And then this one popped back up in auctions, and I bought it, because then I had the money. So you just bought this thing in auction, and you're just like, screw it, I'll see how hacked together yeah. it is. And it actually, like... It's not too bad. Is it, does it have, like, a 34 core support Yeah, or so they weld in a 34 core support, and then the fenders are really interesting, because they get a 33 fender and a 34 fender, and they kind of just, like, cut like this. Oh, can you see the welds on the inside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they put the two together and weld well, them funny, because my, my brain would have said just, like, boom. You know, yeah, but the, but arch, the arch, arch is different. Yeah, so oh they do God. like this cut from like, like yeah, the metal. here all the way down to here, yeah. 
be stressful to drift. I crashed it once on this side and the body guy did not like me. He said, never come back. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna have to, about to help Sam put another gearbox in on this trip. But this is going in the Bogan 32, which I'm actually really hyped for this project. He's turboing a NA RB20E, which I really, really wanted to do on my 33, but we just couldn't find the right manifold for it. But how many days are you here for? I need a, I need a base map. We'll, we'll talk tonight. We'll, 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 we'll talk tonight. But if not, I would love to help tune this car. Another trip out here? I feel like I have a segment of videos when I visit shops, like going through their uh, their pile of parts. Everyone has a pile of parts, and I think everyone's always curious about it. So Sam, I didn't ask permission, but I'm going through all your parts. <laughs> so in Sam fashion, we have three blown up R154s. <laughs> oh, yeah. One of these says TJ Hunt on it. All right, that's the one on mine. Uh, by, by association. To Garrett Turbo, some k and stuff right here. Ooh, four facing plenum. What is this for? 2J. Cool, this will fit. This will fit. A bunch of R200, classic. S chassis, R chassis guy. Bunch of Deese Works fittings. I love that. Whole ass S15, brand new strut tower in the front. Sam, where did you have got? Never mind. Just, just a bunch of S chassis stuff up here. Whole S15 interior. Yeah. What's that kit for? That's a BN Sports 30, uh, 32 four door. Oh, that's good. Everyone knows that like R32 sedans are so waxed on. Put a 30, put a BNK out of me, like God, it's the hardest thing ever. Our only kid that looks good on the <laughs> Looking at your shells, I think we, we both have very similar tastes, which is really cool. We've got a new trans in the Bogan 32. If you guys want to check that out, go check out on Sam's channel. Is that video going to come out soon? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, perfect. So guys, check it out. Um, I was just picking on Sam per usual, but uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. For now, what's sick is the main up garage, like the biggest up garage is like a block away, right? Yeah, literally. You guys saw us go to Up Garage a few times on the trip, but we kept going to the same little one by the track. This one is supposed to be massive. And I'm Three stories and a whole nother wheel building, like building. So four whole entire buildings to check out. We wheel bu building, yeah, I'm excited. Our good friend Sam has a shop a block away. If we buy some wheels we want to store in Japan, we can leave them right in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I didn't think good idea, that. right? We can pull that transmission back out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you should find a lot of like hidden gems there, but now that they have Kruger, which is their online yeah. website, they're way more like, they, they really are on knowing what is value, you know. You still find stuff that they mislabel and they don't know what it is. And then you pick it up for a steal. Mm -hmm. It exists, it does. But I can't imagine like four years ago before Kruger. Oh, bro, it was insane. It was nuts. Like, uh, oh, uh, VSKS and stuff for like under like 1200 bucks yeah. for a full set. Like, Dangerous. Wow, Sam it. <laughs> Very proud front moment. This is actually amazing. It's in like the sickest area too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got for 2x, baby. Hi. Arigato gozaimasu. No worries. That's Enjoy. a thing. Thank you, Sammy. No worries, guys. <laughs> dude, the BR building? Yep. Next no door. Way. That's Monster. it. They have a big ass building. Yeah, dude. He's had it for years. And then there's Monster right there. Jesus, Yokohama's the place to be, huh? Yeah, man. This week, since it's Golden Week, everything's closed. So we yeah. didn't really have much of the opportunity to do like the cool garage tours that like a lot of yeah. people do. So next time I come. For sure, man. Yeah, we'll set some up. There she is. It's a big ass building. This is the new one. There used to be a big building like next to this one. And the old shop where they used to work on Tanaguchi's D, uh, D1 GP car is behind there too. Oh, no way. Yeah. Is this the, the wheel building? Wheel, wheel so building. This is all just wheels. Wheels. What well, we noticed in the last up garage, it's, it's a lot of just like factory replacement, like mm -hmm. magnesium or factory replacement alloy wheels for just standard cars. Yeah, but you can come to this one and just buy a full set of rays right off the bat. Wow. Brand new okay, well, hold on. I told Grant we'd wait for him, so let's wait for him. Yeah, but you don't want to miss out on a deal, you know? You might snap something up before you. <laughs> yeah, brand new sets. Look, you can just come here and buy brand new. I'd hope you could buy brand new wheels. If all these wheel companies are based out of Japan, I'd hope you would be able to buy them in Japan. Yeah. <laughs> Depends what's in stock, though, right? Yeah. Offset's weak. So that would be good for the Yeah, these are all daily specs. The big money ones are like the box sets, right? <sighs> We're getting somewhere. Things are getting spicier. They're getting chunkier. Oh, these are cool. Good color, Sam. Good wheels. Good wheels. Good wheels. Ooh. Just like a base standard of a good wheel. Yeah. Is it like illegal to have like wide and stretched tires here? Um, as long as they don't go past the fender, but you can put, you know, the FRP fenders and stuff or like something to just bring it out that yeah. little bit more, yeah. It's the fact that people just will put nice wheels on there like yeah. dailies. Yeah, 100%. Oh, no way. So cool. The moist boys are getting moist watching that one. Oh, these are real ones. Yeah, these are good. 17 by 10 and a half all around. 1800 bucks. 
So bad. I mean, after shipping, maybe like what, 27, 26, something yeah. like that. But that's not a bad gig at all. Oh, the SSRs are pretty cool too. That's not bad for all four. 18 by nine and a half all around plus 38. It's a that's really a nice. Style. That's a really good fitment for. Yeah, if you actually want to run a meaty tire setup, and it's only like $1,100 for all four. TC4s, yo, that's cheap. I know, that's not bad. TC4s and 18s, you should do it. Dude. Do Wait, it, Sam. One of these will fit on my wife Swift, because these would look sick. Oh, shut up. <laughs> oh, these are really cool, because these kind of look like Basreas. Oh, really? Yeah, they kind of look like Basreas with bigger gaps. That's pretty cheap for a nice set of 19s. It's, it's like for seven. A truck, I think, because these are six. Low. I didn't even notice that. Okay, that makes it weird. <laughs> so we just saw a bunch of wheels. Actually, honestly, more cooler ones than I was expecting, especially after the last up garage. Yep. Three floors: bottom floor car parts, second floor motorbikes, third floor body parts for cars, like aero parts, like yes. hatches, yes. fenders. You saw where he went though. Third floor body parts. Body parts. <laughs> it's on trend. Yeah, it's where you sell your kidneys so you can afford the rest of the store. <laughs> There's quite a bit more stuff at this one. I just love the coilover wall though, it's so aesthetic. Like just looking at it. Any VCs on the shelf? Yeah, I always forget. You can get brand new for the right up the front, right up the shelf. Oh, this is a cool aisle. It's good. I love I would kill to be able to just go buy a brand new bride seat from a store. Oh my god. Yeah! Sammy, you work. Five minutes on this place. I'm impressed. Yeah, but half the stuff on the shelf is from me. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. There's always way too many Momos. There's no Nardi. That's not bad for a stock R33 Type M GTST wheel. It's not too 40 fun. bucks. Bunch of Momos. Well, that is something. You finally found a set of Ganondors? Yeah, they're DC5 Ganondors, but... Oh, what do we got here? FT Tails? Oh, they're, 90, they're 99 spec, too. All right, we have a bunch of mirror. Oh, that's cool. Mini Koopa ones. Uh, there's got to be Ganondors somewhere over here, right? What? Yeah, here we go. In the box. In the box. Super mirrors. Oh, they're expensive. DC5 yeah. Integras, and that's like $1,300. Yeah, that's a bit pricey. That is pretty pricey. It's like your price. Yeah. What is this? Oh, that's, that's like... that's like 1500 bucks. That's like probably 14 14 5 or something. And they're you're already FD yellow. Yeah. Damn, that's convenient. They're already yellow. I mean, that's like kind of what they go for. These ones are real, Grant. I know, I, I made that, me and Adam made that mistake about seven years ago. That's the weird. infamous Grantadors. Actually, I'm only 40,000 subs away from giving them away. No, you still have them? So I made a, I made a, I made a deal to my subs that at 100K I'd give them away. It is convenient though, you can just come here and get like gaskets like that because usually, one, usually getting that stuff in the store is not easy anywhere else. Yeah, we'll get the test pipe. Yeah, I, I love like, don't this. Show them, don't show, don't show SR, <laughs> RV. Yeah, see, this is legal. We're in Japan. Stock cats, 700 bucks. We could retire. <laughs> what? Test pipe's towing with us. Yeah, right? How cheap are they here? It doesn't matter. You can't buy them in America. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. Oh. Are these real? Are these knockoffs? Yeah, they're real. Just Nismo shift knobs in a box. They're all real. Oh, these are cheap. Let me take a couple of these. All right, now we're gonna walk up to the third floor. There's a lot of cool stuff on the second floor. I wish I filmed it, but it was all motorcycle stuff. Uh, this is supposed to be all body parts. I can imagine there's gonna be a lot of body panels for just like K cars and stuff I don't know of, but the first thing I do notice is we have a set of white FD front fenders. How much are they? Oh, that's, that's not bad. It's um like 320 bucks for the set of FD fenders, which is not bad at all. Sucks that it would cost so much money to ship them here, but R32 front fenders for $140. That is really cheap. There, I know there's someone watching this video right now punching the air, needing those fenders. Standard S15 front bumper for like 50 bucks. That's not too bad. And I don't know what the heck any of this is for. Oh my god, pull that down. Please show oh him this. Oh my gosh. No way. Dude, S13 no right hand drive dash. It's pro oh yeah, it's cracked underneath. I've never seen someone re leather wrap their dash. Yeah, matching, he has the whole matching the interior. The whole interior, there. the whole interior is like 250 bucks. What is it? Yeah, it's 250. No, it's cheaper, it's like 220 bucks. There you go. For the, the leather red door cards and the center console. That's hilarious. These are S15 rear overs yeah. and then this is FD. The Vertex ones. These are Vertex Edge rear over fingers? Yeah. For four, Adam might actually need these. Yeah, you're not wrong. Oh, this is not bad. This is actually a pretty, I'm like, these yeah. like GT style wings are growing on me again. It's like one of those things where it's like, 
It's so easy for it to be rice, but if you could pull it off, it looks so good. Yeah, yeah, you're not wrong. GT wings have been growing on me as well. They're coming back, Sam. It. Look at these wild size hairs for an FD. Oh they probably go with those front fenders that are shoved over there. Uh, so cool. That is cool that they had that. So these are probably never been mounted. Yeah, they've never been painted. Your side skirts for what? Monkey magic ones. That's actually worth so much money. Yeah, with the yeah, they're true. Your true. Skirts. What are they for? S14. S15. Yeah, they're S15 Eurus side skirts. Oh, these are really cool Recaros. And they're cheap, Sam. There's like 450 bucks. No idea what kind of seat this is, but the, the fart count on that thing is high. <laughs> that's even, they didn't even bother to clean it, man. So we found the matching headliner for the 13 interior. Imagine what that I'm car looks like. I'm impressed that you put all that effort in. You know? He committed. The headliner looks pretty good. Yeah. What? A86 hood. Is that really a 86 hood? That's not rusted to crap. That's what, 180 bucks? 170 yeah. bucks? Yeah. This is a metal 11 hood. For no way. Oh, oh an EV1 S15 hood. EV1? The sad thing is, what happened to this car? Yeah. <laughs> so as you guys can see, it's, there's an overwhelming amount of stuff. It's cool to see that there's still like parts in there that we get geeked over and not just like parts for newer cars or like just like brand new off the shelf stuff. I can tell you what, if this store was in my state, I would have bought so much. a lot. Remember, shipping is so much money, and then, like a lot of it is stuff that I don't need, but I want it, and not go through the process of putting in a container and doing all that. Because I know people are like, "Oh, put it in a container, it's yeah, cheap, this, this, and yeah, this," but yeah, it's a hassle. Yeah, but so it's it's hard. It's hard. But it's freaking cool to see, and that was really fun. So thank you for showing me. No worries, happy to. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, it is officially the next day, and it is about time that I end the videos here in Japan. I'm trying not to be the loud American right now <laughs> filming this. We went to Moon Eye Shop, we went to Samets, we went to Upgrad, checked it all out. I was really dying to go to Daikaku. I would have absolutely loved to go there, but unfortunately we haven't had enough time. I spent so much just trying to get through the Ebisu trip and it went flawless. I couldn't be happier. Here in Tokyo, we've been kind of just doing touristy things, walk around, just kind of relaxing and taking it all in and it's been amazing we came here during golden week which is like a very big holiday week and so like not a lot of things have been open in terms of like shops and stuff just kind of like the touristy stuff it just means i have to be more prepared for next time but i officially broke the ice coming to japan and uh now next time i could be more confident and do way better planning and um experience even more because i experienced the smallest fraction smallest fraction this country has to offer and i am absolutely in love today uh we actually didn't film much we ended up getting lunch with a few friends that are out here but sam it did take me to yashio factory and i finally got to meet okachan which was like amazing and i didn't want to pull the camera out because it was just they were busy and you know when you first time you meet someone the last thing you want to do is just shove a camera in their face especially when you don't even speak the same language it was an amazing experience and i actually was able to pick up some cool stuff i was actually able to grab a yashio factory valve cover which is like the coolest thing ever i'm gonna put a picture right here hopefully i could show that thing on the black s15 it would be like the coolest thing ever so for now i gotta pack up and travel home tomorrow but the wild thing is, we're not heading straight home. I land in New Jersey. I get picked up from the airport and from Jersey, we go straight to West Virginia because the very next day, I'll be driving in a team competition called Final Bout. I was trying not to like talk too much about it prior because I didn't know if my like teammates were gonna have their cars ready, <laughs> but they got them ready in time and we will be driving Final Bout East Stage, which is one of the coolest team comps in all of America. It's like very style based. The cars there are amazing. The driver there, the drivers there are awesome. Well, it's been kind of like a dream of mine to actually drive in there and to come home straight to Japan and drive in that. It's pretty cool. So I'm really excited to see how kind of like the Ebisu driving experience translates over into, well, now my coupe. I got the lot to pack up and uh, we have a lot to look forward to when we get back. It, the season is here and it's a busy one, but I really hope you guys enjoyed the Japan vlogs. Um, really want to come back and with a really strong game plan and do more and film more and hopefully take the guys with me next time but for now you know the deal like comment subscribe stay tuned for more content and we'll see you guys very shortly Savage is the world.